Michelangelo's David is widely considered the greatest sculpture of all time. In this video I'm going to be analysing what makes it so beautiful and what we can learn from this sculpture and apply it to our own pursuit of aesthetics and building an aesthetic physique. Starting at the top, the neck is very important for this sculpture. Neck size is a sexually dimorphic trait. This means men in general have a much larger neck than women. A big neck is a sign of higher testosterone. A big neck is more masculine. The other Renaissance portrayals of David by Verrocchio and Donatello in bronze showed a much uh, younger, more boyish David. But this statue by Michelangelo portrays David as more of a man than a boy. Neck size increases after puberty. So boys have small necks like the Davids of Verrocchio and Donatello and men have large necks like this David by Michelangelo. So having a large strong neck is a really like masculine feature. A man who is very lean but has a skinny neck will just look skinny and weak. A man who is very lean but has a thick strong neck will look strong and masculine. A big neck makes your face look more masculine and you, and as a whole you are seen as more strong. If this David had a skinny neck he would look much more boyish and weak than he does with this strong masculine neck. Moving down the traps are not really important for this physique. Moving down onto his torso, leanness is much more important here than muscle size. Proportion is prioritized over the size of his muscle and the appearance of strength. That said, he does have decent shoulders for a very young man and he has good separation between the delts and the arm. Clearly he has visible abs and his rib cage is visible so he is certainly not eating a lot of food, this portrayal of David. He's eating just enough to stay alive and be active as a warrior and not much more than that. You can see the V-line heading down to his pelvis. On his right arm you can clearly see the bicep vein. I think he has decently strong upper arms. He has certainly good bicep insertions with a long muscle belly. If you have long muscle bellies in your bicep that means you'll have more full looking biceps but less of a peak. You can see he has skinny legs. They're really not important. They're not a main feature of this sculpture. And he has reasonably developed glutes. They're not tiny, he's not completely flat. And at the back, he clearly has a nice V taper going on. Wide shoulders, fairly narrow waist, and he has a fairly uh, defined upper back, which again just comes from the leanness. If I had to say which muscles were most important then for this physique, certainly the neck, also the lats for that V taper and the shoulders as well, and the arms are decently developed. The sculpture will probably seem small and weak to most men watching as we've gotten used to seeing like enormous bodybuilders on social media and anime characters with like completely unrealistic physiques. So we're just used to these monstrous, really unrealistic physiques and we kind of think that's normal. So, you know, we compare ourselves to those and we find ourselves completely lacking. We're like so small in comparison. But in reality, most normal people outside of this uh, bodybuilding culture, they don't find that attractive. What they find attractive is proportions, someone who looks healthy and in good shape, which is exactly what this David looks like. And this sculpture, I would say, is very attainable naturally. You know, the muscle sizes are not ridiculous. He's just very lean. Personally, I have a hard time, like, gaining size. So if I were to eat the way I naturally would like to, which is not a lot, I'd probably shrink down to something like this David physique. Except I actually, like, intentionally train to get bigger muscles. So David probably wouldn't have trained for bigger muscles. He would have just been very physically active doing things like wrestling, climbing, swimming, running, and combat training. So I think this physique is very attainable for young men who are just very active in a lot of different ways. And they eat to survive and fuel their training, but not to grow like enormously large muscles or to get stupendous strength. It's just eating enough to fuel their activity and not really any more than that. You don't even necessarily need to do any specific training for this physique. You just need to be very generally active. This isn't the physique of a bodybuilder who trains like two hours a day, five days a week and does no cardio. This is the physique of someone who does a lot of physical activity like farming, running, walking, swimming, climbing, and fighting. I think that's part of the charm of this sculpture. I get the impression that this is just what David looks like naturally and effortlessly. Like he doesn't train to look this way. He just naturally had this beautiful proportional appearance as a blessing from God and a result of his active lifestyle. And if we didn't have such like high calorie diets today with so much processed food and we just ate the necessities, whole foods, we stayed very active. I think a lot of people would basically look like this. If you look at hunter-gatherer cultures, the men in that tribe, they'll be 
like very lean they won't have a lot of fat on them they won't have exceptionally large muscles but they'll be lean and proportioned as a result of all the physical activity they do they don't train to look that way they look that way as a result of their active lifestyle like hunting running swimming all that stuff i would say if you're training in the gym to get bigger muscles you're probably going to get bigger than this david statue if you want to look like this then I wouldn't really train in the gym for aesthetics. I would just be very active in a lot of different modalities. Maybe just train in the gym for strength so that you have good health, good physical performance in general. So although this isn't the typical like massive anime physique I cover on this channel, I think it's very good to look at these very natural, proportionate, beautiful physiques because this is the kind of thing that humans can achieve through just being active, healthy, being outdoors, doing physical activity. You don't need to feel discouraged if you can't look like Ronnie Coleman. And I guarantee most people will look at the physique of David and find that much more appealing and aesthetic than Ronnie Coleman. I hope you found this video useful or entertaining. Maybe it's made you reconsider like the standards for natural physiques what looks good what is healthy what we should be like eating like how much varied physical activity we should be doing instead of overly focusing on bodybuilding neglecting cardio and just eating like food to fuel the bodybuilding workouts and pack on size our bodies are designed for so much more than just being large and muscled and that's what i get from this sculpture it kind of shows off the beauty of just the human body that is used in all kinds of different ways and is fed just enough to survive and fuel the physical activity that needs to be done. That being said, I greatly admire strength and size and power and my goal physique is certainly going to be larger than this one. But I want that to be equally like beautiful and appealing and to express like the human movement in all kinds of different ways like I think this sculpture does. If you've seen my video on Toji's physique and you're interested in the complete guide to achieving Toji Fushiguro's physique including a physique analysis and weightlifting or calisthenics training programs tailored to suit your needs and efficiently maximize muscle growth check out the link at the top of the description.